Praise the Lord. Good night. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a great joy and privilege once again, beloved and friends, uh, to be here this night to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord everyone is in good health and happiness regardless of our situation in our world. As I always say, beloved and friends, that we are living in a very sick and sinful world. But Jesus Christ himself promised, he says, Lo, I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world. Isn't that awesome tonight? Isn't that great? Isn't that mighty? Isn't that majestic that God himself promised to be with us in every situation, in every circumstances, in every trial, in every testing, in every storm, in every decision making. He said in his words, a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come thy dwelling. Welcome tonight. Let's give my big hand. God bless you richly, sincerely. From my heart I receive, I release that blessing upon your life tonight. And I pray that God will bless you physically, spiritually, socially, materially, financially, educationally, every year in your life. And whatever you do with your two hands, it shall prosper. Let me break it down tonight. I pray that God will bless your child. God will bless your children. God will bless your finances. He will bless your business. He will bless you on the job. Give you favor and promotion on the job. And whatever you do with your two hands, it shall prosper in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Tonight, beloved, I cover, I cover everyone under the precious blood of Jesus, especially the Guyanese people, and I build a hedge around your life. Tonight, I drive out every spirit of fear, every spirit of timidity, every spirit of that is not of God tonight. Uh, yes, in the fact, tonight I cover everyone on the precious blood and I build a hedge. I build a hedge around God's people for the blood of Jesus is so efficacious <coughs> and the blood of Jesus is so powerful. The blood of Jesus is a repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every work of darkness. Tonight, every spirit of witchcraft, obia, demonic forces, evil blights, generational curses, where the fourth, second, third, or fourth generational curse, I break it, I break every chain, I break every barrier, I break every fetter. I break every evil and every work of darkness for whom the sun set free is free indeed. You are free tonight in Jesus' name. Let's give him a big hand. Thank you, Jesus. You are free in the mighty name of Jesus. For God says in his words, healing is the children's bread. And the first covenant he made with man was the covenant of healing. For he was wounded for our transgressions. <coughs> he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement, our peace was upon him, and with his stripes I'm healed, you are healed, we are healed, in Jesus' name tonight, those who are looking from, from those who are watching from the USA, the UK, Canada, the Caribbean, any part of Europe or the world, tonight, my friends, is your night for a miracle, tonight is your night for deliverance. Tonight is your night for healing and salvation. Father God, tonight I pray that you dip me in the river of liquid fire of the Holy Spirit uh, as I minister your words tonight. Uh, your words will go forth with dunamis uh, and power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit uh, that many will be healed, many will be saved, many will be blessed, uh, many will be delivered, many will be encouraged. Uh, I ask in the precious name of Jesus, uh, Amen and amen. Praise God. We're living in some crucial times right now in our country in Guyana. Praise the Lord. I must address this uh, before I get into the word of God as a prophet. Uh, many people are asking me questions. Uh, prophet, what do you think uh, our president is going to meet uh, with Maduro, uh, Nicholas Maduro on Thursday in St. Vincent and in the Grenadines? Yes, with Prime Minister Ralph Gonzalez and 
Lula da Silva from Brazil and many other leaders and delegation will be meeting to discuss what to discuss our country. Yes, my friends, to discuss how Maduro, the dictator, I call him the bully who wants to take part of Guyana because let me think, state clearly I have the authority and power to speak tonight uh, as a prophet uh, and I want to tell my beloved president, the young president uh, he has to be very careful but I know he is strong and he know what he about uh, and his heart is for Guyana so they cannot come with nonsense to him yes my friends and beloved tonight uh, I want to address that issue tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Maduro, the president of Venezuela, is a bully and a dictator, and he knows that next year election is coming. So he was trying to use a gimmick with a referendum, and we all know from inside sources, just a small percentage vote on that referendum. It was a joke, and it means nothing to us. Yes, my friends, he wants to remain in power, and he wants a distraction and a something sidetrack the people because he know for sure the opposition will throw him out in the election for next year and he know for sure that the opposition will get all the support from the USA to get him out so he wants a sidetrack he wants to cause a war in this zone in this region but it will not happen America is ready yes for him yes my friends and beloved greed Greed is a terrible thing, and bullyism is a terrible thing in our world. So whatever our president is going for, I cover him under the precious blood tonight, and I build a hedge around our beloved president, Dr. Irfan Ali, Mohammed Irfan Ali. I seal our president under the blood. I pray God tonight that you, when he, as he go Thursday for that meeting, you give him wisdom and knowledge, understanding. Help him, oh God, to say the right words and to use wisdom from God Almighty to whatever decision he has to make to represent our beautiful land. We know everyone wants a bite of this country because they know Guyana. One day Guyana will be the, one of the richest countries country in the world from a poor nation it is rising so fast and everyone wants a piece of Guyana they want a bite and they want part of Guyana yes my friends but God is in control tonight let me tell you something tonight it's not by power not by spirit but by the power of the God the Holy Spirit that lives inside of me tonight and I say not me that live it but Christ that lives inside of me for greater is he that is in me tonight than he that is in the world. Yes, who is greater in me tonight? God, the Holy Spirit, lives in this man of God in a different measure. As a prophet, God speak to me and I can speak on behalf. Yes, my friends, tonight, God, the Holy Spirit, not me that liveth, but Christ that lives inside of me. The God, the Holy Spirit, who created the whole universe, this whole world who created the sun, the moon, the stars, and every living animal and human being. That's the same God that lives within me today. God, the Holy Spirit is directing me, and I know exactly what will happen, and I know exactly what Maduro is trying to do. As I said tonight, my friends and beloved, that's all for politics tonight. Let me get dive, they dive deep into the word of God, but we know God is in control. God is fighting our battles, not the blade of grass. Guyana is covered under the blood of Jesus, and Guyana is well protected. So God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind tonight. Let me get into the word of God, 2 Corinthians chapter 13. What it says, examine yourself as to whether you are in the faith tonight. Test yourselves. Do you not know yourselves that Jesus Christ is in you? Unless indeed you are disqualified. But I trust that you will know that we are not disqualified. Now I pray verse 7. Verse 7 to God that you do not, you do no evil. And not that we should appear 
appear approved but that you should do what is honorable do what is honorable though we may seem disqualified praise god tonight my friends the word of god speaks for itself let me expound a little tonight on the scripture praise god hallelujah yes my friends let me read it once more verse 5 to 7 tells us examine yourself as to whether you are in the faith tonight Test yourselves, beloved. Do you not know yourselves tonight that Jesus Christ is in you, unless indeed you are disqualified? In the, but I trust tonight that you will know that we are not. We are not disqualified. Now I pray to God that you do no evil, not that we should appear, appear approved, but that you should do what is honorable though we may seem tonight hallelujah disqualified the word of God calls us to examine test and evaluate evaluate ourselves tonight to see whether we are in the faith tonight so what does it mean to be in the faith tonight beloved and friends do you get to heaven because you simply state that you are a Christian and you are in the faith tonight why my friends if you remember in the book of Matthew Matthew Jesus says not everyone who says to me Lord Lord will enter into the kingdom of heaven but only one who does the will of my father who is in heaven hallelujah I believe that we have to test and examine ourselves beloved and friends against the word of God yes and that is what reveals tonight the will of God Almighty Jesus said everyone who simply says Lord Lord will not get into heaven yes my friends so that means you can shout about Christianity tonight and not get to heaven tonight you can go to church as many times as you like and still miss and still miss heaven Jesus said it's the one who does the will of my father who is in who is in heaven praise God so dear listener dear listener examine examine yourself you are doing you are you doing God's will tonight now you may be thinking well well tonight is God's word really specific about what his will is for my life Yes, my friends, well, let me share with you some scriptures tonight uh, that highlight, my friends, God will, God will for our lives. Hallelujah, Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 29, praise God tonight, uh, 12 to 13, clearly tells us, uh, when you call on me, come and pray, come and pray to me, and I will listen, I will listen to you, and I will see if you seek me, and you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart hallelujah dear the bible clearly tells us tonight my friends seek the lord seek the lord with all your heart the promises that you will find him you will find him god says you will find me when you seek me with all your heart praise the lord and then if you go over to Maka chapter 6 verse 8, the Bible says he told you to the old man what is good and what does the Lord require of you but to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God Almighty. I love the simplicity of this verse tonight beloved and friends what do you think God requires of you tonight well my friends it is to is to do justice do justice to love kindness love kindness and here this is to walk humbly with your God Almighty it doesn't get any clearer tonight than this beloved we can find God with all all throughout the Bible tonight in Matthew chapter 6 verse 4 we we're told if anyone desires to come out after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross. Take up his cross and follow me. Hallelujah. Praise God. Romans chapter 12 verse 18 clearly tells us if it is possible as much as 
depends on you. Live peaceably, live peaceably with all men. This is God's will, my friends. And so you see, it's extremely important to examine yourself, examine yourself against God's word. Because when you are in the fit, you are living, you are living in God's will. Hallelujah. Psalms, Psalms 119 verse 34 says, Give me, give me understanding that I may keep your law and observe it with my whole heart. Hallelujah. A different translation reads, give me, give me understanding, a teachable heart and the ability, the ability to learn that I may keep your law and observe it with all my heart. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. May the Lord grant us tonight wisdom wisdom, wisdom, understanding, and discernment in our lives. Praise God. May the Lord give us divine understanding and insight tonight so that each of us can examine, examine our own, hallelujah, our own lives tonight. So I have a question tonight. When was the last time you sat down, my friends, and did some, did some self-reflection? When was the last time you sat down and think about the areas that you need to work on? Tonight, when did the last time did you identify the areas that you need help with or the area that you need to pray? Praise God tonight about my friends. When, when did you last reflect on your actions and then re required recruit yourself? I fell short here or I entertained the wrong kind of thoughts. Tonight, my friends, or or did you admit admit to yourself tonight that uh, let let my anger get the best of me here, and shall I have more self control? Think about it tonight. Uh, when did you last uh, examine yourself? Uh, examine yourself. When did you last conduct a self uh, assessment? Uh, regarding how you behave how you speak how much you how much you pray a christian tonight who can look into his or her own life praise god and investigate investigate whether or not their attitudes match up to the word of god whether or not their thoughts match up with the word of god or if their actions Match up to the word of God that uh, that Christian Christian is one who has uh, who has understanding and uh, wisdom. Hallelujah! Examine examine tonight yourself uh, that the sign the sign of maturity as uh, as a believer tonight. Uh, the Amplified Translation for Second Peter Second Peter one ten verse one says it clearly says therefore believers. Be all the more diligent to make certain about his calling and choosing you. And we'll be sure that your behavior reflects and confirms your relationship with Almighty God. For by doing these things, hallelujah, actively developing these virtues tonight, you will never stumble. You will never stumble in your spiritual growth. Yes, and will live a life that leads others away from sin. For in this way tonight, beloved, enter into eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, will be abundantly provided, provided to you, my friends, people of God tonight. Hear me when I say this tonight, the best way to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, my friends, is to live in obedience, obedience to his word. Yes, the best way to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ is to come out from among them come out from among them be separated be holy tonight your life your life should reflect the love that Jesus Christ has my friends the mercy that uh, he has, the mercy that he has, uh, the prayerful spirit uh, that he had while he was here on this 
altar. Hallelujah. So people, people of God tonight, take, take time tonight. Take time to examine. Examine tonight yourself. Examine yourself tonight. Life, put it aside by side with the word of God. And then let's see. Let's see tonight the areas where you fall short. Hallelujah. Let's make a point tonight to become more like more like him tonight father tonight we come before the spirit tonight with all humility tonight like your word says tonight search me thoroughly oh god and know my heart test me tonight and know my thoughts my, my anxious thoughts and see if there be any wicked or hurtful way in me lead me in the everlasting in the everlasting way the father tonight lead lord jesus yes will you reveal to us the hidden things in our lives that we should do always with reveal to us tonight any idols all impure things and anything that is not of you the father may you shine a holy light within us tonight and highlight all that's evil O oh father all that's unclean in our hearts tonight lord jesus shows the attitudes to cast away cast away shows what a relationship to end yes so father let your light shine on the activities that we need yes to forsake O oh lord and make it clear the choices that we need to make oh father lord jesus show us how we should walk how we should behave tonight how we should conduct ourselves tonight all for your glory oh father father give us wisdom wisdom and understanding understanding regarding how we should live our lives and where we should be placing your our energy and your focus your focus help us lord tonight so that we may not be discouraged by the evil yes because he tries he tries to highlight our weaknesses our faults and all all the time that we have fallen short and tonight a sin oh father but father tonight we ask you right now we ask you right now to wash us with your blood so that we may be filled with with uh, with uh, the fear, fear, fear feelings of uh, condemnation or guilt uh, or fear in Jesus name oh father for father we know that when you shine the light tonight on our weaknesses and our faults yes and the times that we fallen short uh, in sin when you shine yes so oh, father your light uh, you also draws closer closer to you there is conviction but you draw us closer draw us closer and so god we thank you that in you there is no condemnation we pray for wisdom and understanding lord jesus so that we may see the mistakes we make and learn from them oh father and grow from them oh father because we know that your word says there is now no condemnation, no condemnation, no guilt, no guilty verdict, no punishment for those who are in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. And so, Father, tonight, each of us pray, each of us pray that as we examine, as we examine ourselves, we may do it with the spirit, yes, that seeks to be obedient to your word tonight. And we examine ourselves tonight, yes, you, you may remove all feelings feelings of condemnation i pray that the holy spirit will remain remain remind us that you offer us mercy when we repent when we repent of our sins oh father and the holy father tonight even as i reflect on my life tonight and as i look back at the pain i've been through tonight and even at the pain that i may have tonight a call 
cause cause i thank you for your consistent love love i thank you for your amazing amazing grace tonight i thank you for hearing hearing my repentant prayers tonight father matthew chapter 22 verse 37 says you shall love the Lord, God, with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, with all your mind. This is the first and greater, great commandment. And the second is like it, my friends. It said, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Praise God, Lord, tonight I pray right now that we may walk in obedience to your word. Oh, Father, together with everyone listening tonight, we place you at the center of our hearts tonight, our souls tonight, yes, our minds tonight. Help us to obey your word tonight so that you might be the biggest love in, in our lives. Hallelujah, Father. Tonight I pray with all with all sincerity that you will re 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 ignite our faith so that we may have deeper hunger tonight for everything that concerns you and your kingdom tonight. And if our faith has wavered for even just a moment tonight, may you quiet your our heart and speak and speak peace into our spirit oh father and father i pray that my soul will come will come to the understanding that i have a friend i have a friend in jesus i have a savior in jesus tonight in jesus christ it is is my redeemer tonight father i commit all my ways to you tonight oh father all my desire i commit and my being tonight praise god my life is in your hands yes oh father my life strengthen my faith lord tonight because i know without faith tonight it is impossible to please you oh father therefore tonight i pray that you strengthen my faith in you the father so i can be a believer who pleases you hallelujah that's my heart that's my heart desire tonight lord give me bold feet even in the midst of fiery trials yes so father in the mighty name of jesus christ hallelujah i pray i pray tonight i believe i believe hallelujah thank you jesus i believe tonight amen Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Examine yourself tonight as to whether you are in the faith, my friends. Test yourself tonight. Do you not know yourselves tonight? That Jesus Christ is in you, unless indeed you are dis qualified but i trust that you will know that we are not disqualified tonight hallelujah now i pray i pray to god that you do not you do no evil not that we should appear approved but that you should do what is honorable tonight do we may seem tonight praise god hallelujah praise the lord Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for this prayer tonight. I thank you for your words tonight. I thank you that this qualifier will call me to come and pray to be. Pray I will listen to you, said the Lord. You will seek me, said the Lord, and find me, said the Lord, when you seek me with all your heart. Hallelujah. God says in his word seek him tonight with all your heart if anyone desire to come after me let him deny deny himself and take up his cross take up his cross and follow follow tonight hallelujah praise the lord follow me the lord says follow me romans 12 verse 8 says it is possible as much as depends on you tonight live peaceably with all men live peaceably with all men tonight therefore believers believers be all the more diligent to make certain about his, his calling and choosing you 
Be sure that your behavior reflects and conforms your relationship with God Almighty. For by doing these things, hallelujah, actively developing these virtues tonight you will never stumble stumble in your spiritual growth hallelujah and you will live a life that leads others away from sin hallelujah for in this way tonight enter entry into the eternal kingdom of our lord and savior jesus christ will be abundantly provided provided to you hallelujah praise god tonight thank you jesus beloved it has been a great joy and privilege tonight to be here tonight to, to minister the word of god i love you very much in the love of god those who are sick tonight i have a short prayer for you tonight tonight those who have cancer you have aids you have COVID, you have diabetes a heart problem a liver problem lungs problem kidney problem a blood issue a blood dialysis problem prostate cancer what the case may be many are sick in the hospitals in their homes in the dying bed tonight the man of god is back here to tell you that you will not die but you will live you will live to fulfill purpose if you're suffering tonight with depression oppression frustration anxiety what the case may be we're gonna to touch you and heal you tonight in the mighty name of jesus praise god if you have a migraine headache and you cannot function effectively on the job god will not touch you and heal you if you have diabetes your skin and bone yes you're dying slowly god is touching your blood right now and setting you in order yes my friends if you have arthritis pain in your joints in your fingers and your knees your elbows your toes god is touching you right now and healing you in the name of jesus those who are demon possessed i command those demons to leave you right Right now, in the name of Jesus, be free in Jesus' name tonight. Uh, praise God. I feel a tremendous anointing of God, the Holy Spirit here tonight. Uh, as I said for the anointing, where you're listening from tonight, uh, in your living room, in your dining room, uh, in your kitchen, in your car, in your office, uh, on the street with your phone in church, uh, or right here tonight uh, is your night for a miracle. Tonight is your night for healing and deliverance. Uh, as I said for the anointing, are you ready to receive your miracle tonight wherever you are right now in the name of jesus as i send for the anointing be here in the name of jesus be set free by the power of the holy spirit i see many are healed many are saved many are delivered many are set free tonight from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name tonight beloved I love you very much in the love of God do have a sweet night dress God bless you richly write me text me call me and let me know what God has done in your life in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name amen and amen thank you Jesus praise God hallelujah amen praise the Lord